Hello everybody, this is Pitch Skull Black here and welcome back to another collection update video. Recently I have finally managed to get into the wonderful world of Big Finish audio dramas and today I'm going to be showcasing a whole bunch of them as well as a couple of other things to do with the realms of audios. So here we go, let us start off this collection update with an unboxing. Something I'm not really 100% sure how I fully set it up, but this is a non-Doctor Who audio. It's not even a big finish audio. It is in fact an old uh, BBC radio serial from the 1960s that has quite an interesting uh, correlation and story to do with Doctor Who. So without further ado, let us open this up and see what's inside. And so for within this parcel, we have the BBC Radio Collection release of Victor Pemberton's The Slide. This is quite an interesting thing to do with the Doctor Who universe, I would have said, and it is for those reasons that I picked this up. Way back in 1964, Victor Pemberton proposed a Doctor Who serial entitled The Mud Men, which was at the time rejected by the at the time script editor whose name I can't remember. I think it probably would have been David Whittaker or something, I'm honestly not sure. But The Mud Men was rejected. However, it was accepted and made into a radio serial entitled The Slide a couple years later and was broadcast in 1966 of which this is a release of. Victor Pemberton later then script edited the Patrick Troughton era to an extent of which he was only minorly credited for. I think he for these scriptorial edits was only um, like credited for Tomb of the Cybermen, but I believe his actual run of script editing lasted from the Evil of the Daleks up until the Web of Fear. At some point during this script editing tenure he had, he was brought on to write a full Doctor Who story. What became of this was Fury from the Deep and he ended up basing Fury from the Deep off of his radio serial from the previous year, The Slide. So to cut a long story short, The Slide is a radio serial prototype of Doctor Who Fury from the Deep, of which was meant to be a Doctor Who story for TV in the first place. And with Fury from the Deep being one of my favourite Doctor Who stories of all time, I was naturally very, very curious in checking this out. It is a total of seven half an hour parts, with the first two uh, parts pressed to the first disc, and then the last five episodes where they did um, two and a half episodes per the final two discs. So yeah, this is something I'm very, very interested in giving a listen to at some point, and maybe reviewing on the channel, I'm not too sure. Um, but Fury from the Deep is one of my favourite Doctor Who stories, as I've said, and I am very interested in um, giving this a listen, as this, as I said, is essentially a prototype to that glorious Doctor Who story. So yeah, I am very, very interested in giving this audio drama, or sort of radio drama rather, a listen. Bit of an interesting thing to do with the Doctor Who universe, and I'm very interested in checking it out. <clears throat> Next up, we have just to sort of segue ourselves into the sort of Doctor Who audios for a bit for this video. We have the BBC Radio Collection release of The Web of Fear, which is just plastered with stickers. I'm not 100% sure if I've shown this on the channel before, but um, this was something I picked up in a charity shop uh, last year. Um, just saw it in there for £3, pounds. thought it was a cool item to get, and I decided to get it. I already have the story via the Lost TV Episodes radio collection, um, or the Lost TV Episodes uh, collection box set, so I already have that edition of it in the collection, um, but decided it would be cool to get this. Um, 
as well. And it's quite a bizarre release, uh, this one actually, because with most lost Doctor Who stories that are six parts, they would um, uh, issue it so that it's a two CD release with three episodes per disc. However, for some reason with this release, they decided to issue it to three CDs with two episodes per disc, which is a little unusual for a um, uh, six part Doctor Who story. Um, that is lost and released on CD. Um, I don't know if they did it with any other ones, but I think this might be the only one, but it's still kind of odd, um, to say the least, at the same time. But yeah, this copy of um, the Web of Fear radio collection I have is in fantastic condition. Um, the case is intact, there's no cracks and stuff, it was clearly uh, looks after uh, quite a bit until the British Heart Foundation had a sticker attack on it. Um, but yeah, decided to get this cool little collector's piece. It was only £3 and fantastic condition as well. And um, yeah, really, really cool to have. And that segues us nicely into a couple Doctor Who. Um, so we have The Dalek Occupation of Winter by David K. Barnes, which is the first instalment of the fifth series of The Early Adventures which I would say at this current point in time is my favourite range of Big Finish audios. There's a surprise. Um, but yeah, I was very, very interested in checking this one out. As I have heard, it was um, absolutely fantastic. And I'm not going to say too much on this, as I have recently listened to this audio. And I am working on a transmissions review on this audio drama. Next up we have a fourth Doctor audio which was actually my first one from the main range. I do have a couple of his novel adaptations via the Romance of Crime and English Way of Death limited edition um, but this is kind of like my first one from the main range um, of his audio dramas and this is The Haunting of Malkin Place by Phil Moline. Um, I basically got a massive uh, craving for Doctor Who horror stories and kind of horror in general uh, recently thanks to something um, that I'm about to showcase. And so sort of thanks to that, um, I sort of reminded myself of a couple fourth Doctor audio dramas um, that would be really good to get as they are kind of more along the horror lines. And this was one of them, The Haunting of Malkin Place. Um, I bought this from my local Forbidden Planet and I kind of was intending to go in there to try and get The Darkness of Glass, um, which is another horror fourth Doctor audio, but uh, they didn't have that one, and, but they did have this one, so I just, so I just decided to get this one. Um, but yeah, really, really interested in giving this one a listen, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So yeah, there is that, The Haunting of Malkin Place, really, really interested in giving this one a shot. As, as I said, I got a massive craving for horror recently, which is thanks to the um, next thing I'm about to showcase in this video here. And those are a bunch of the Big Finish Dark Shadows audio dramas that they have done. They were really cheap on the Big Finish website, uh, particularly these three I'm about to showcase, so I thought I'd try them out as I've been getting into um, the actual TV series itself uh, quite a bit and I've listened to one of these I thought it was really really good and I've also listened to a couple of other sort of download freebies of Dark Shadows Big Finish has done um, which are also really good so yeah I'm most definitely getting into these um, Dark Shadows audio dramas for these audios we have The House of Despair which was actually the very first one uh, released um, in the entire canon of Big Finish Dark Shadows audios. Um, so, yeah, then we have the Book of Temptation and the Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. there's quite a bit to do with um, Dark Shadows on Big Finish, as they have done quite a bit over the years. Um, but they sort of started off by doing a sort of around 70 minute. Um, 
uh, single disc audio dramas are based off of the show um, just to sort of start off with and um, these are the first three out of um, that sort of section of Doc Shadows audios by uh, Big Finish. So yeah, and these were really, really cheap on the Big Finish website as they were going out of print and these CDs were only £3 each so I thought it was a really good bargain and um, I just kind of decided to give it a try and from the one that I've listened to, The House of Despair, it was really, really good and I am interested in checking out the other two. Um, that I have as well as interested in checking out um, more Dark Shadows audios from Big Finish um, of which I'll be showcasing more All right, then we video. now move on to the final section of this video. There's another four Dark Shadows audios within this parcel here as well as five other Doctor Who audios so here we go some of the CDs in there there's quite so a I'm going to start off with the Dark Shadows audios from this parcel and then move on to the Doc 2 audios so we have Dark Shadows The Path of Fate which is the sixth release in this um, sort of line of Dark Shadows audios they did where they did like um, 50 uh, sort of Doctor Who companion chronicles uh, style audio dramas uh, for Dark Shadows. They've done quite a bit with regards to Dark Shadows on Big Finish and this is the sort of um, main bulk of them. Um, this is one that sounded really really good and plays around with a um, concept of like, um, I believe it's like stairways uh, that are like time portals at the same time or something from later on in the show. I believe uh, with the Leviathan arc, I think it's called or something like that, or was it the 1870 something arc? I don't quite know, I'm still kind of new to Dark Shadows and um, the TV series as a whole. Then we have The Creeping Fog, which is the 17th release. I first heard about Dark Shadows way back when, when TJ Productions uh, showcased a few Dark Shadows audios in his um, showcase series. And and um, when I was got, getting into um, Big Finish uh, lately and getting interested in the Dark Shadows audios, um, I sort of asked him um, about his Dark Shadows audios that he purchased and if he enjoyed them or not. And um, uh, he did and he enjoyed them um, a lot. I think he actually loved them, he said. And um, this is one of the ones he uh, bought. Then we have another one that TJ did get at some point, and that is the last stop. Then we have the last Dark Shadows audio of this video, and that is Carriage of the Damned. So yep, yeah, those were those four uh, Dark Shadows audios from uh, that big finish order that I did. Since these 50 uh, Dark Shadows sort of Companion Chronicle style audios are going out of print on the big finish website, and some already have, um, uh, these sort of Companion Chronicles style audios are down to like only £5 each so yeah really cool bargain and you get downloads of them as well whenever you order a CD from the Big Finish website so yeah really really cool and I'm very interested in uh, checking all of these out at some point so yeah there we go there's all of the Dark Shadows audios from um, that parcel with Big Finish so yeah really really cool stuff then moving on to the Doctor Who audios, we have four early adventures and one monthly range audio. This monthly range audio um, was one that kind of interested me uh, for quite a while. I sort of saw that it was down to like six quid because it was going out of print as this is part of 50 to 100 um, on the Big Finish website and I decided to get it as it sounds like quite an interesting and um, unique story to do with uh, Mel's family so I was quite interested in giving it a go and that is Catch 1782 which is the 68th monthly range release really interested in giving this one a go sounds like quite a unique um, story and it does sound really really creepy in some areas and, um, and is one that I am very interested in uh, giving a go. I don't know too much about it, but it is one that interests me 
uh, greatly. And then we have the early adventure releases. I have now completed the fourth series of the early adventures with these first two, with the Night Witches by Roland Moore. Um, this is one that is just meant to be absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the best early adventures with regards to the general consensus, I think. And I am very, very interested in giving this one a go. It sounds like it's going to be a uh, fantastic listen. Then we have the other one that I needed from the fourth series of the early adventures, and that is the Morton Legacy by Justin Richards. Um, this is a bit of a maligned one from the early adventures I think this is kind of seen as a bit of a uh, filler type of story um, from the early adventures line but it does still sound uh, really really good this one and I am very very interested in um, giving it a go it kind of sounds a little like Marco Polo in some respects from looking at the back um, just a tiny bit uh, to me anyway Quite interested in giving this one a go actually to see if um, it deserves to be maligned or not but um, yeah there's that the Morton Legacy quite interested in giving that one a go and then we have a little bundle that I ordered and that is the complete sixth series of the early adventures which is seemingly the last early adventures uh, series as I'll get into um, so the first one is the Home Guard by Simon Guerrier uh, which is one of only two early adventure releases from this series. Um, so yeah, quite interested in giving this one a go. It's controversial <clears throat> because this features um, uh, the James Dreyfus uh, master in it with the second Doctor. Recently listened to um, the Destination Wars, which is the first Doctor story with um, the James Dreyfus master in it, and the first Doctor Adventures box set and I enjoyed it to an extent, it felt like a bit of a um, testing ground uh, type of story as it were as I detailed in my recent review. So hopefully the Home Guard will be in an improvement and it is an interesting concept to see um, the second Doctor go up against uh, the Master. Um, we've had it before in the novel The Dark Path, I believe, but it's still nice to have another story in which the Doctor goes up against the Master. Quite a few people have pointed out that Series 6 of the Early Adventures is quite possibly the final, um, or seems to be the final sort of um, series of the Early Adventures um, for a couple different reasons. Uh, one of the big ones is that they've halved uh, the amount of releases down to only two instead of four and um, Elliot Chapman has said that this will be his final outing as uh, Ben Jackson um, for Big Finish. Um, so yeah, a bit sad at that, but I'm um, quite interested in giving this one a listen still. And here is what appears to be the finale of the early adventures, and that is the epic looking Daughter of the Gods with an absolutely stunning uh, cover art to it. Um, so yeah, very very interested in giving this one a go and this really does seem like a big sort of all out swan song type of uh, finale to the early adventures. I guess you could say this story is a bit fan service with um, the first and second Doctors meeting in one big epic audio but I'm still quite interested in giving this one a go um, because it's my two favourite Doctors of all time um, coming together fighting the Daleks it appears in one audio with a variety of companions um, with Katarina returning of all companions. I've heard extremely positive things about this audio and I am very very interested in giving it a go. I think this will be one sort of that I'll hold out on listening to as I think I would like to explore the early adventures um, a lot more uh, before uh, listening to this audio. Um, so I think this will be a sort of a later one in the early adventures um, for me. But yeah, there was that Daughter of the Gods, really, really exciting. So that pretty that much one. concludes this little CD haul collection update type of video, in which I featured seven Dark Shadows Big Finish audio releases, a couple BBC radio collection releases of Victor Pemberton's the radio serial The Slide, and Doctor Who and the Web of Fear as well as seven Doctor Who Big Finish audio dramas, including a bunch of early adventures, a fourth Doctor adventure, and a month's so like release. Like, subscribe, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch Girl Blank, dematerializing.